Well, people are certainly trying to mentally navigate this pandemic and its fallout. An emergency room doctor in New York City committed suicide after weeks of treating COVID-19 patients. WJZ is live right now. Paul Gessler reports on just how busy one of our local crisis centers really is. Paul. Hi, Rick. Yeah, the grassroots crisis intervention based out of Columbia answers calls for the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, the state's 211 service, and its own crisis intervention hotline, and all three have seen significant increases recently. This is Aisha Holmes taking us on a tour of the grassroots crisis intervention center. This is our hotline now. Kind of empty. Typically, seven counselors would staff the phones at its Columbia location. We planned for it for, you know, a tornado or something where a building might be down. We never imagined a pandemic. The grassroots executive director says they had planned for an extended work from home scenario, and their 50 crisis counselors are doing just that. It's a shared experience that everybody's dealing with, but also everybody's circumstances are really different. Um, Rachel Bender's new co worker is her dog, Cranberry. She showed us her workspace equipped with snacks. My pretzel jug is down there. Calls to crisis and suicide. Suicide hotlines are being routed to their cell phones. Volume is up 33% this month already. Right now, it's very quiet. Has any service been altered significantly, or can people still access care? People can still access care. It's just going to feel different. Walk-in counseling is suspended, but calls are coming in from people as young as seven years old. And it's around screen time and doing schoolwork and things that, that, that we're all facing as parents at home. Some of the calls can get pretty intense, but they say that's exactly why they're remaining fully staffed. People are definitely under a lot of stress, um, you know, losing their jobs, um, not knowing when they're going to be able to work again. The intensity is different. Um, people are really sensing the stress around COVID. Now, the number for the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline is on the bottom of the screen right now. It and the gr Grassroots Crisis Hotline are staffed 24-7. They say if you need to talk to anybody or just want to talk to anybody for your own sake, please do not hesitate to reach out and call. For now, reporting live tonight, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.